Huawei's new AI chip just declared war on NVIDIA and is winning in China. Leftists, rightists, both of you guys. Widget making, whenever you restrict it, the free market on widget making, it just does not work. If you try to hold a nation back, it will never, ever work. I'm not talking about healthcare road building, but trying to restrict free market capitalism when it comes to widget making, especially when you're trying to oppress another nation, it will not work. We are seeing this real time live. Huawei has just debuted a new AI supercluster with this Ascend 910C AI chip powering a new Cloud Matrix 384, China's most powerful AI cluster to date. And direct competitor to NVIDIA's GB, this says 2000, should be 200. This is Grace Blackwell 200, the most powerful chip from NVIDIA announced last year. Understand they haven't released Rubin yet. And this NVL72 is the cluster. This breakthrough not only signals China's growing independence in AI compute, but also comes at a critical moment as US tariffs and chip restrictions tighten. Now, if you lived under a rock the past couple of years, and let me tell you that NVIDIA leads the mass produced race of AI chips that are the most performant and have the best performance per watt. Could be argued that Google's Tensor chips have better performance and possibly better performance per watt, but we don't know uh, about the second one because you and I cannot purchase them individually. They're only rented out through the Google Cloud and they use them for their internal usage. So when it comes to mass produced commercially available chips, NVIDIA is the de facto leader. There's nobody else even close until now. So we have these chips from Huawei, which remember Trump and the Biden administration have been trying to restrict to hold China back. They don't want China to catch up to us. Right. And mind you that China was kind of sitting on his hands for a while. They weren't really concerned with catching up with us. They were getting our money for their factories, right? We, they were building the chips and they were buying them from us. They were more than happy to buy them from us. And we had all the IP and the IP is what really matters. And you might say, but I thought China steals all of our IP. At a lower level, they do. Definitely, you work with China, smaller projects like the one I did, you expect them to steal your IP. It's just gonna happen. But stuff like this, no, because they want your business because it's big money. If you don't believe me, ask Apple. So what we got here is that we force, we force them to act. We went out and we said, you must act. And they said, okay, we're going to act. This essentially shows that China no longer needs to rely on the U.S. or any other country for computational needs. And it's the perfect time as Trump just raised the tariffs in China at 245%. And he's preventing NVIDIA from sending H200s to China, an older version of their AI chips called Hopper. $5 billion write down that AI, uh, 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 NVIDIA took today, last night, sorry. That's the big drop in their stock. And I can imagine that Huawei will be happy to step in, though they will not have the yields, but they will be happy to take a lot of those orders. Let's go ahead and look at the performance on this. Now I will tell you, there was a lot of sensationalism with these headlines. Catches up the AI hardware gap with the US. It does on a performance basis, but not on a performance per watt basis. NVIDIA's chips are much more efficient. Now that's not as big of a deal because in China, they have a lot of cheap electricity. In fact, I believe they lead the world in cheap electricity, mass producing. Or if they don't, they got to be pretty darn close. But what we're talking about here is that these chips are a threat. They are a huge step forward. Now, their yields aren't as high as NVIDIA's either. You might say, what's yield? Well, when you're running a sheet through, you're not going to expect all the dyes to be working. So, like, let's say that you, you know, I'm just making up a number. Maybe NVIDIA has, like, 80% yield. Well, then on these, I don't know the number, but the rumors are that they're much lower, 30, 40%, which means you have to run more of them through to get the number of chips and that they cost more because of that. But remember that the Chinese company aren't gonna be paying the insane markup that Nvidia puts on theirs. 
right? So they're gonna be widely available. So we can see over here that on a per chip basis, they're not as performance great as Blackwell. You know, I say, wait, I thought you just said it is as a perf performant. The system, not the chip. What they did is they took more of the Ascend 910C chips and they stuck them onto the system. And so we can see that even though Grace, Black, uh, Grace Blackwell 200s, that's the best version, which is two of them stuck together. And Ascend 91, uh, 910C, you can see it beats it on every metric, but when we come down to the system level, all of a sudden the, cloud, uh, the tables turn and the cloud matrix CM384 is outperforming the NVIDIA GB200 NVL72. But we come all the way down to the bottom here and you can see that the power consumption that NVIDIA still has the lead, but again, this doesn't matter as much. When you're in China, your electricity is a lot cheaper than America. But if you're some type of nationalist, whether you're right or left, because again, there's nationalists on both sides, then just be happy that they don't have the yield yet to make up for those NVIDIA orders. Trust me, they would love to have those H200s. They need them. So if you're a nationalist, I guess you can, even if you're a Democrat, I guess you gotta cheer that a little bit. Though I don't know why anybody would be like that because again, it's not gonna work in the long run, okay? We're just forcing them. We're forcing them to be more self-reliant and they have been responding. Here's an example of a response. Harmony OS, this was from last year, running on a billion devices. Understand that the entire Chinese smartphone, smartware, uh, uh, market was dependent, the entire 1 billion user market was dependent on America. iOS and Android had a duopoly there. And for some reason, Biden and Trump were like, oh no, this isn't good. Why do we want them to use our product that we control and leave the, lead the direction of? You can't use Harmony OS, okay, fine. Or sorry, you can't use Android, okay, fine. We're gonna release our own device, Harmony OS, now we're running on one billion devices. The latest news is that it has a install base that competes with iOS. Now over in China, Android had a larger install base than iOS, but I imagine that Harmony OS will be catching up to it soon. So far, companies like, um, Oh, what are the, uh, sorry, OnePlus, they have resisted switching from Android. So there are some Chinese companies that still can use Android. But I would imagine that pretty soon, if, especially if the trade war continues like it is, that they're going to be like, forget this. We're not going to be under your thumb. We're going to go to something that's, you know, we can use that's open where we don't have to fear retaliation. And that's what I mean by forcing them. When Trump went into this war, he just thought that everybody would cave. You don't go into, if you're going to, I don't condone violence and for anything, okay? But if you do want to fight somebody, say you're at the bar and you hate somebody, I want to fight that guy. Don't start a fight with the entire bar before you go fight that guy. That's what Trump did. He world, he, he wants to fight with China, okay? Don't start a fight with the entire world first before you fight with China. Get some allies on your side. And then, you know, if you're going to fight, which you shouldn't, then go start. I, I mean, it's just like basic stuff. Instead, and I always like, oh, I've overplayed my hand. Well, yeah, you didn't have a hand and you worsened your hand by trying to compete with everybody else at the, excuse me, at the same time. SMIC, this is from last year too. I'm just bringing this stuff up to show you when you force somebody. Reportedly to manufacture five nanometer chips for Huawei without EUV machinery. So the Dutch company ASML, they basically have a uh, monopoly on extreme ultraviolet uh, lithography machines, which are used to produce these chips, which understand are literally down to three nanometers and two nanometers pretty soon. Now, China isn't that far along. They're at five nanometers, but they're going to be catching up real quick. And these, these chips, uh, sorry, the machines used to produce these chips was controlled by ASML, who we, back when we had a partnership with, with Europe, could influence. And what we did is we influenced them to 
to ruin $15 billion worth of Chinese equipment. Not update it, not provide any software updates, not provide any, any hardware uh, service maintenance. Saying, oh, they're sanctioned, they're sanctioned. So what did China do? They said, okay, we're going to go out and build our own. Now here they are. So instead of just keeping them kind of fat and lazy in our supply chain, we said, no, go out and build your own supply chain. So they said, sure, we'll go out and do that. H how does this benefit us? How does this benefit us at all? Okay. Understand that I, I'm, not a, I'm not for tariffs. You could say I'm a globalist. I, I believe in specialization. I think countries work best when you have a Dutch company named ASML that specializes in this. And you have a TSMC that specializes in this. And I'm very happy that the IP is over here in America where we specialize in, to, in, in the intellectual property. Okay? I think that's the way the world works best. But apparently, other people think, no, no, we want to keep these other countries down. Okay? Fine. That's your thought pattern. But it's not working. They are raising their self up. Does that make sense? Do you hear that sound? That is my Samsung dryer. I don't know why they put that stupid sound at the end of it. That is the dumbest sound ever. It drives me nuts. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this kind of content, please hit like and subscribe down below. Have a great day.